So what we've got here is the haunch. So we're just going to come down the centre. Right. Cut through the H bone, around it. Through the knuckle joint. Again, we're going to use that gravity. Pull it away. Leaving as much meat as possible off the bone. And this is our whole venison leg. So what I'm going to do is break this leg into its five cuts. Shank, top side, knuckle, rump and silver side. So I'm going to start by coming from the top, take some of the trim away. The rump starts from the bottom of the bone here. I'm going to cut it through. So venison rump, a bit like beef rump, makes great uh, venison roast and steaks. Got lots of flavour, muscle that works a little bit, but you can still grill on the barbecue at the same time. So I'm just going to take away a few of the excess pieces. We're going to use all these cuts again for our sausages and burgers. This has got lots of flavour. A little bit of the sinew around the side here. So a nice venison rump steak. So the next cut we got is the venison shank. So this is great for osipuko, uh, long, slow braising. You get that marrow bone going through there, lots of flavour. Uh, muscle that again works, lots of fibres, so it needs those low, slow temperatures uh, to make it nice and tender. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to take the top of the hock and the tendon off. Then we're just going to go through the knee bone, cut straight through. So we can do two things with the venison shank. What we can do is we can keep a hole, French top for venison shanks, or we can cut it through with our saw and do venison osobuco. So I'm just going to French the top of the shank. I'm going to remove the top half here. Mark down the side with each shank. Just, just take that little bit off there. And there we go, that's our French venison shank. So there's three muscles left in here, the top side, the silver side, and the knuckle. So the great thing about First Light Venison is that all these leg cuts are going to be great cutter steaks. So we're going to start from the top of the leg bone, I'm going to run my knife on the inside, taking away as much meat as possible again away from that bone. To my left I've got the knuckle coming towards the top. Again we're just following that bone round. Then there'll be a little seam in here to follow. Take that knuckle away. So that there we've got is our knuckle. Next, we're going to go onto our top side. Again, we're just following seams. Just being careful as we go. Keep the whole piece intact. And last, we've got the silver side. Take away a bit of this excess trim through here. And again, just bearing in mind that we're just taking all this silver skin off as we're going to be slicing these into steaks. We're going to remove the cap from the top side. Again, just following the seams, pulling it away. Just so we can make those beautiful venison steaks. On the knuckle here, just do the same. We're going to remove the cap. Pulling all that skin away. And those there are our three primals. You've got the, the knuckle, the top side, and the silver side. 
So here we've got the top side, all nicely trimmed, all the soil is getting removed. All we're going to do is cut these beautiful steaks ready for the barbecue. You can see how lean this first light venison is, or less than 1% fat on there. Any of the excess trim, again, will go into our beautiful uh, small goods, salamis, burgers and sausages. Just remembering that it's four times more tender than beef.